If you couldn't tell already, you know that I love to talk. So, today I was having a wonderful conversation, engaging in great dialogue with a friend of mine who I'm going to be running a scenario for today to teach you guys about today's lesson, which is life insurance is not an investment. Okay? Let's say that one more time. Life insurance is not an investment. So in today's scenario, with a very good friend of mine who is a John Maxwell leadership coach, awesome guy, he has a passion, right? He has a dream, a vision of raising 1,000 leaders out of Haiti. Who thinks of that, right? Like, who, who thinks of that, really? I know who thinks of that. Leaders. Leaders think that way. And this right here, this gentleman is a leader. And if you want to check him out, I'll have links in the description, his information. You can check him out. You can read his story. Um, go on his website and see what he's building out of Haiti and in South Florida area as well. So him and I were talking, you know, and... and you know, I, I presented him with the insurance aspect of, of adding this vehicle to his portfolio. He is someone that not only is a life coach, but he also is an avid investor in cryptocurrency, which is awesome, right? Now, the only component that I saw that I, fought, I felt that I could add to was, hey, let's secure that wealth that you're creating so that we can leave an inheritance behind for our children's children and then some okay best way to do that is with insurance so I'm gonna break down the example that I created for him and this is also really good for you guys to really dive deeper into once we've killed debt right because that's really the main core of this channel is paying off your debts right once we've done that once we've increased our cash flow lowered our expenses our credits up right we know our vision we know our purpose in life where we're going where we're headed where we want to be the family is a unit right the next phase is creating wealth securing wealth leaving a legacy behind okay so here we have a 40 year old individual okay contributing 25,000 a year into his savings asset okay insurance policy and he told me 40 years okay so from 40 add another 40 till he's 80 okay contributing 25k a year that's a total of 1 million dollars okay now if we're to look at any asset vehicle or investment vehicle you want to look at what you're putting in what you're getting out and then the cost okay cost is key to almost everything right and what you're putting in and what you're getting out in return okay so that you are able to make a an informed decision not based off emotion but more so just reading the numbers which is what we do on this channel so here's his cost of insurance life insurance which is the death benefit portion out of the 25,000 putting in He's paying $3,600 in insurance expense every year for 40 years only, okay? He times that number by 40, you're gonna get $144,000. So the cost is just under 14.5% a year, okay? That is a flat rate. That is not an amortized fee. That's not an annual fee, it is a flat rate off the number that he puts in okay very important right now breaking down some of the components in insurance are you get this guaranteed interest rate no matter what happens to the stock market real estate market okay you have the ability to fund in any amount you choose which stands for your mech limit or in other words, modified endowment contract. And to make that sound even you know, less complicated, 
is basically the ability, the amount of money you're putting in. What is your max, right? So he, he's, we're on a schedule where we're going to be putting in 25000 a year, but he has the ability to put in forty two. okay? Another main component is that the money that grows at a guaranteed interest rate grows tax-free, okay? So these are after-tax dollars going in. Once it goes into insurance, the money never gets taxed again. He has access to the money anytime. Year one, he has access to it. And then all the years moving forward, okay? And it's also a safe income producing asset, period. All right? So year one puts in 25 grand, okay? He's got about 20,000 or so in cash value, meaning year one, he has the ability to take out, if he wants 10 grand, 15 grand, 17 grand, 18 grand, right? And go put that money in crypto. Okay, or acquire some property, pay off some debts, okay, whatever he chooses, invest in his business even further, okay. Meanwhile, if he was to strip that money out of the policy, it's as if he never touched it to begin with, meaning he takes 18 from 20, okay, so he's got 18 working out here, and his 20,000 remains continues to grow at a guaranteed interest rate okay now year one putting 25 grand in he's got 20 20 thousand cash available and his death benefit is a little over 1 million okay by the fifth year his money breaks even so for the money for the amount of money he puts in right 25 thousand 25 thousand 25 thousand 25 thousand by year five, in cash, cash on hand, he's got about 123,000, probably right at 125. So his money technically, boom, breaks even right after year five, year six, money breaks even in cash. His death benefit though, increased to 1.38 million over the course of a few years. But his insurance expense did not increase. It stayed the same. Okay, so if we looked at it over the long haul, over the 40 year period, by the time he's 80 years old, he'll have $2.6 million in cash on hand available. His death benefit will be about $3.4 million, a little bit more, right? So $3.4 million, 80 years old. He's got his will in place, his trust whether that's a charitable remainder trust, dynasty trust, right? It's an, he's got his estate plan in order. Like this, this, this guy is impenetrable when it comes to his personal finances, okay? Now, he has the ability, okay? So this is looking at this consistently. If all he did was just put in 25,000 a year, here's his results at year 80. Now, along the line, let's say the first year he puts in 25. Year two, he puts in 40. Year three, he puts in nothing, okay? He has this flexibility to put in more money, less money, no money, never fund it again, let it sit and grow, okay? He has a flexibility there, okay? Well, let's say he put in more crypto is blowing up business is blowing up he's raising a thousand liters out of haiti okay so he's making big 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 bucks right now if he wants to stuff forty thousand a year away into this policy he can do that okay so if you did the math uh forty thousand times 40 years was that 1.6 million dollars going in guess what his insurance cost never changed. It never increased, right? So any number above the 25 that he puts in, guess where that all goes? Towards cash value on hand, which 
also since our cash value grows every single year no matter what so does our death benefit grows every single year no matter what right so if he puts in 40 grand a year well i guess you can just double or triple that number at that point right and then you can double that up that's an even higher much much higher death benefit so this is very attractive for you know households right husbands wives this is very attractive for real estate investors or just you know solo investors whether in crypto and forex right you've got you got to have a place to store the money right it's one thing to accumulate money it's a whole nother ball game when we start to withdraw money and we start to transfer wealth to our children to our family members okay life insurance has a huge aspect when it comes to the tax advantages and the tax-free benefits to your heirs okay so this is just a quick quick little lesson video on you know life insurance and the reason why I say it's not an investment is because if it was it would have to be taxed right it would have to be taxed so any investment tool vehicle must pay tax well if life insurance is not an investment now it's an asset not taxed at all according to the IRS provides you that safety net that protection from your wealth right from losing it all so to speak so I thought I'd share that with you quick little lesson my name is Denzel I hope you enjoyed that if you'd like to find out more information on how to get a policy like this designed for you I'd love to help you out and if you'd love to have a coach right a life coach help you out right you can always become a better you when you have a coach period so check this gentleman out I'll have all his information in the description and you can see the type of people that I work with right and yeah thank you so much have a great day love you guys shout out to my loyal subscribers and shout out to all the people that filled out forms we're having wonderful conversations together live video calls you know we're amping up our game okay we're amping up our game this this channel broke a thousand subscribers by the time this video publishes we'll be at a thousand plus subscribers how cool is that all right all natural all organic everyone just sharing this information with their families friends co-workers people that they love right enjoy the rest of your day thank you so much